Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a, a disk read error on your uh, PS3. And so basically, I got this PS3 on Craigslist like a day or two ago. And the guy said it was working and everything worked alright. And of course I bring it home, put a disk in, and it won't, won't load up. So of course he sold me a broken console. But, I mean, the fix is pretty easy. So it, it's it's not that hard. The uh, Basically the error code... Or I was putting it. I'd put a disc in. It would take like 15, 20 seconds to load, which is pretty long for a disc to load for. And then when it finally popped, so when it finally popped on the screen, I'd click on it, and it would give me an error code, which was like 800 something something 514 or something like that. And basically, Sony says that you need to delete some stuff in your hard drive or like restore the file system or some junk like that. But that doesn't work. It's most of the time that's not gonna work or do anything. So I mean, you can try it first. You might as well try it to see if it fixes it. But most of the time, the error is your your Blu-ray your Blu-ray laser is bad and or or it's dirty. And so basically, what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to clean your laser to uh so it'll read discs again. And so I already have my PS3 apart, but I'm just gonna show you show you how to take it apart so you can get to the the disc drive. So basically, first off, you want to flip your your uh, PS3 on so you can the bottom is facing up, and so you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. We're gonna need to unscrew, and they're all Phillips head screws. And basically, the ones in the corners, in the three corners, are gonna have like a uh, a little like foot pad that it rests on, and you have to just kind of pop it up with your fingernail and the other three have like a little uh they also have a tab but it doesn't have a foot pad on it you just gotta lift up with your fingernail and unscrew it it's really easy and then you come here down here you got these you got four little tricky screws down here they're like a a star bit shaped kind of screw they're it's kind of like a, a torx screw but it has a little a little like column kind of thing like in the middle of the screw so a normal to torx uh torque screwdriver won't work for it it's some kind of like star bit screwdriver or something you got to use for it or in my case I just used a uh, I used like a little tiny flathead screwdriver and kind of jammed it in the side of the screw and kind of jiggled it and finally got it finally used that to like unscrew it so you can if, you can, uh, if I can find a screwdriver f that is made for this I'll link it in the description if not you can just use like a little small flathead kind of jiggle it out and then use a Torx to get it out and kind of mess with it and get them out it's it's not too bad but yeah there's four of, the right, four of them right there so you just take those off then you can flip your PS3 back over and you should be able to just pop it right off yeah. there you go so it just pops off and so basically yeah, the first thing you want to do is you're going to have your power supply back here. So you want to take out that that clip and this clip. And then you're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver. And there's a screw right here. And over on this side right here. So once you've done that, you just take your power supply and just kind of pull on it. Don't have to pull too hard, but takes a little bit of force pull it off and then you can get to your disk drive right here and you want to like kind of pull this thing off to the side like that and so yeah you get your disk drive it's gonna have it's gonna have this cover on it I've got some screws in here so I'm not gonna flip it over yes yeah, this cover is gonna be covering the disk drive and you're gonna have us you're gonna have like you can see here there's a screw in the middle and there's two screws on the ends, and they're all Phillips head. You just gotta have a small Phillips head screwdriver and to unscrew it. And there's also gonna be one Phillips head screw right here. So you can just unscrew all of those and pull the top cover off, and you'll be left with this. And there'll be two more screws. There'll be another screw right in here, and another screw right in here. So both the the bottom right and left corners. And so yeah, you can. If you want to, you can just leave your your disk drive in place here, or you can take it out. And to take it out, you just gotta take out these three ribbon cables at the back, 
And there's also going to be a ribbon cable directly under the disk drive that you'll have to unclip. And you want to be careful with that one because it's, it's really short. But So you can just leave it like this, basically. And then to get this top piece off, you're going to have, there's a uh, clip right here and a clip right here. And so you're basically just going to push them to the side to unclip the disk drive from it. Or the, uh, yeah, the cover of the disk drive. So yeah, once you got it clipped or unclipped, you can just kind of pull this cover off and just set it aside. And so now you can see you got the uh, spindle, whatever it's called here, and you got your all your mechanisms in here, and you got your uh, your Blu-ray right, laser right here, which is what reads your discs, and that's what stirs you dirty. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, 91% is going to be the best. The higher the percentage is, the better. You're going to need at least like 70%. 50% is going to be like half water, half half alcohol. And you don't really want that. You want 70 or 90. The higher you can get, the better. And so basically what you're going to do is you're going to get a Q-tip as well. You're going to dip a Q-tip in here. And then you're going to come to your, your blue laser, laser, both of the lasers. And you're just going to kind of dab it on there and do it in circles for a little bit on both of them and make sure you get a good about good amount of alcohol because once you finish cleaning it off the alcohol is just going to dry up anyway because that's what it does and so basically that should clean your laser and it should work again but the one trick is you might have to do this more than once because I had to do it three times so basically I'd say clean the laser once let it let it dry out for 30 minutes an hour or something go try go try your ps3 if it doesn't work come back clean it again wait for 30 minutes or an hour then clean it and then try it again if it doesn't work come back and do it again and so yeah I had to do it three times before it worked it should so by th if you do it three or four times and it's it's still not working you're probably gonna have to replace your blu-ray laser which really isn't that difficult if you know what you're doing and it costs like 20 bucks to get a replacement on eBay but uh yeah so basically that's it you just once you get that q-tip dip it in the alcohol kinda rub it in circles on the lens and that should clean it up cause that's what worked for mine I cleaned it up did it three different times and finally it's my PS3 is reading discs now so hot that guy that tried to trick me and sell me a broken PS3 because I just fixed it without paying any extra money. So yeah, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, just comment below. or And if it helped you, like, give me an up like. And just thank you.